Okay, um, I got a, uh, letter from a Christian today. Let me find it. Sorry, I'm not very well prepared for this little, uh, broadcast. Uh, anyways, uh, this is a guy that I commented back and forth with a little bit. And then he sent me this miracle tale about how his life was redeemed by Jesus. It's really interesting. Let me turn down that music. That's a little annoying. Okay, uh... <clears throat> Anyways, this is what he wrote back to me. Yes, I believe. I'm 50 years old, who for 25 years never drew a sober breath. Three years ago, a ex-junkie drunk, broke, and dying of hep C who had buried more buddies tan it was supposed to be than but he's not very good at typing you know i had nothing to lose or live for and called on jesus now i am well cured a self-employed landman in the oil biz along with my beautiful wife making 250k a year and we put an ex exclamation point to point out you know how remarkable that is because I, I don't know about you but I find it hard to believe anyways uh, I know personally he's real and Satan is too but I don't belong to the latter anymore as you do now Jesus said to them you the lost are from beneath I am from above you are of this world therefore you shall die in your sins I speak that which I have seen with my father, and you do that which you have seen with your father, Satan. Okay? Anger is a sure sign of fear and misery, which you know you are full of, or else you wouldn't be so caustic and mean. I do say mean because you are not a tough guy, as you like to act. You're just a hurt little boy too big for his pants that likes to play army who hurt you mom dad a girl don't matter you best get real before god removes you from this earth and you will wish like hell you had big talker okay so anyways now i'll uh tell you my reply which i took this guy too seriously because he's I, I think he's a pathological liar, according to what the little story told me about being cured from hepatitis C. Anyways, uh, let me uh, go on. Well, my friend, I work at a hospital, and I know that there is no cure for hepatitis C. It is a virus. While we hope there will someday be a vaccine, a cure is not something that can be reasonably expected. I'm sorry that you inflicted your beautiful wife, uh, quote-unquote, with this malady, which you surely have if you have been engaging in sexual intercourse with her without a condom, I bet she is sorry as well. In the grip of Satan, you say, what would give you that idea? Where is this supposed anger you perceive? I suppose I have been hurt, though. And if we take your interpretation of reality at face value, it was your God that hurt me. At 24, I began hearing voices hallucinating. I became paranoid and had severe delusions. Science worked a miracle, quote-unquote, by providing a couple of pills that made all of that go away. It wasn't this Yahweh you so fiercely defend, since he can apparently not defend himself. The problem was a matter of brain chemistry that an alteration of dopamine and serotonin levels eliminated. Your prophets, Abraham, Mohammed, and Moses, probably suffered from the same condition. I too had started to attract followers in the midst of my and their particular form of insanity. It's a wickedly charismatic disorder. Anyways, Thanks to my medication provided by the logical scientific method, I am able to live a normal life with my white collar office job, earned by obtaining a bachelor's degree, my really cool dog, and my Japanese wife. Maybe she's not as 
beautiful as your supposed wife, and perhaps I don't earn 250k a year, but I am happy. I am content. Without modern science, I would probably be a lunatic living on the streets. That would be hell. Anyways, that's who hurt me. Your hypothetical god. What saved me? Logic and a, logic and a rational approach to understanding the universe and the miracles in the form of technology and medical advancement that resulted. Science! It works, bitches. Bitch, let me see what you got. Just shake that ass.